So, I look really bad. I'm in my pajamas. That doesn't matter. It's March and I'm moving out of my apartment <laughs> because of the coronavirus. This is just crazy. Like, I don't even know how to intro this video. We got an email a couple days ago that our school is moving to all online classes and they're kicking all the students out of the dorms unless you have like a super extreme case, which we don't, so we have to move out. So I guess this is gonna be like a moving vlog, except the only place I'm moving is back home. Like it's not that exciting, but I just thought this would be an interesting experience to document, if not for anyone else, then for myself, because this is probably something I'll never have to experience again. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> to give an apartment update. The only furniture we have left is either like student, like housing stuff that we don't get back or my roommates. So literally everything is gone. Our ottoman couch and all of our decorations, except for that. Don't know why I still have that up, but it's very sad and plain looking in here. Oh, except for my lights. Very sad. All of my stuff is officially gone. <laughs> Dead. I was about to cry in the stairwell right now. This is, I just never expected like this to happen. I have my little like door thing. This is crazy. Just said bye to my roommate, my apartment. And now I'm gonna get emotional for no reason at all. Except that the reason is that I'm a cancer. But this is just crazy. And I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. This angle sucks, but I'm in my car. Why am I so sad? I'm such a baby. <laughs> Last night, I didn't vlog it, but I had like a really, just like emotional moment about leaving my apartment. Cause even though, you know, it wasn't all good at times or good at all, but I just feel like no matter what, my apartment was like, a safe place that I could always come home to at the end of the day and like I always knew my roommate would be there to talk and that like even though not all of the memories made in that place were good ones they it was still just such a memorable year and it's just hard to leave a place that even though I was only there for a short amount of time it's hard to leave a place that I lived in with one of my best friends and that I made so many memories in and it's especially hard when you have to leave unexpectedly but I was just thinking like I think it's so hard because this was kind of like the first place I got a real sense of independence you know because it wasn't just like an obvious like dorm this was an apartment and like even though it was still school school housing it it was my own to go back to Minnesota in like my parents house and live there for six months is something I never thought I would have to like be emotionally prepared for Vlog before it gets dark. Um, still in the car. 
many hours later. Um, we stopped, we being, I'm in the car alone, but my dad and my grandpa are in another car driving, so we all met up at Red Robin. <laughs> I had never been there before, but I don't know why we went. And I got an Impossible Burger, so that was fine, I guess. And then, um, been driving for a little while after that. It's actually, I'm actually in like a really pretty area of Wisconsin, like it's really hilly. I don't know if you could tell, but like, it's kind of nice here. Then just like 20 minutes ago, I stopped in Toma, Wisconsin, my go-to stomping place off of I-94, or I-90, whatever. Um, I don't know, they have everything there. We stand, and I got a coffee, $2, and then I also spilled it on my white sweatshirt, so that's so fun. And then I got gas. I'm, you know, listening to some One Direction, some Bozzy, having a good time. I started off the road trip listening to the Views podcast. I'm gonna keep driving now. Gotta be safe. Keep my eyes on the road. Crossing the river into Minnesota. Hey. Mississippi River. I would be by the edge to get a better view, but also that scares me, so I'm just gonna stay in the middle. unpacking stuff. I didn't so much unpack as I did kind of like decorate and make my space like look nice because I knew I wanted to be like cozy after a long day of like traveling and moving and stuff. So I put up a few decorations. Most of them have already fallen off the walls. Yeah, so today I'm kind of going to be actually unpacking and making it livable rather than just pretty. The thing about moving back home is that it's like, it's so hard to move into a place that already has things in it. Just want to give a little update. I hung up all my clothes, got all my clothes put away in all of these cubes and stuff. Got the desk cleaned off, got the posters back up. You know, we're making progress. I kind of just like picked things up real quick because it was feeling very messy. So it's looking cleaner. I'm gonna put all of this stuff, this is like my desk stuff into my desk and then we'll go from there. So I'm currently editing the video that you guys are watching and I don't really have an update. I feel like with moving back home or moving in general, it's never really like done. Like you kind of just, like it kind of just tapers off and then you realize like, okay, this is livable now. Like this is fine, I guess. So I don't really know what else to say. Um, my room is good enough. I'll probably be uploading a room tour. So don't want to do that in this video, but yeah, this whole situation is kind of just uncharted territory for everyone. And so because this is something I've never done before and probably will never do again, I wanted to vlog it just for like my own memories, you know, because this is just so weird and new and yeah, so if you guys like this video, <laughs> uh, give it a thumbs up and I don't really know what else to say. I will see you in my next video, so bye. <laughs>